Welcome back everybody, we're here to do another just checking in on you for Star Citizen. Why? Because I got her. Can we think of any more puns? No, not really. Let's just start the game then. <laughs> As usual, we're gonna wait, what? Why am I? It always does this to me. Yes, I'm gonna be angry white man. That's not white, that's kind of yellow. Oh, oh my, my god. god, I'm the wrong Character shade of... Character customization, Tom! I'm the wrong shade of pink, mate. Oh, that's... You're gonna have to go to a Scottish prison for that. Where's my pompadour? <laughs> Look at this guy. Hi, everyone. That's definitely... Definitely the way to go. Uh, anyway. Yes. Right. And the loading screen begins. But loading times are significantly better if you have a dedicated SSD. Oh yeah, I was looking into it and apparently if your motherboard has an M2 slot, you can get 1500 megabytes per second. Oh my god! Yeah, and you can actually pick up a 32 gigabyte M2 SSD uh, for 80 pounds, no, 40 pounds. No way. Yeah. And for 88 pounds, you can get a 250 gigabyte SSD that just goes in on SATA. And we were looking wow. at a high, me and my brother were looking at a high performance system the other day. It's like a card that looks like a graphics card, but you plug two SSD M2s into it. So this. <laughs> The amount of money you you could spend like two and a half grand on it's getting ridiculous. A few terabytes of, of yeah, it is getting silly, mate. It's, it's really really crazy. Like the reason you want uh, high capacity, high speed SSDs really is if you're doing a lot of data. You know, you're moving a lot of data yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. Creating copies or whatnot. Any other situation is like, well, you're kind of wasting two grand down the drain there. Yeah, yeah, you don't really need it. Okay, so here we are. I'm lying in bed. Okay. What can we do? Well, it's a lot smoother than the slideshow that was the last patch, so let's have a look. F and click, and the door opens and I'm through it. Dude, mm -hmm. we completed level one. No way! I'm gonna go for level two now, all right? Mate, I was getting ready to like time your loading screen and all that. And it's finished already. Yeah. Press F4, let's see what the movement's like. It's all right till I look round the corner. <laughs> Hey look, another player. Alright, we're ready for the running down the stairs test. No, fail. He, ran, he couldn't turn fast enough, ran into the corner. Uh, I'm sure if you had a gamepad it wouldn't be a problem. To be honest, it looks like that player's having some issues as well. Yep. I'm gonna use the ship retrieval console. Uh oh. Uh, so, load times. They've improved load times and performance quite a bit, but it's still janky. It is. We, you can see the frame rate drops. I can't do anything until he's. Is it locked up right now? I can't do anything. Come on. There we go. So, you have to watch the whole screen animation now. Um. Where does my, where's my ship? There's no indicator. Ah, there it is. Right, so I guess it's this way. And I've got no, ah, oh, I need to get armor again because got, I'll have no retros. Nope. This one maybe? Oh, no, 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 I'm not a hipster. Must be on this side. But 
weapons and armor. Here we go. I love how you have to open this. Ah, crap. Okay, we're in. Now I need this. Orc core. Bye. Confirm. Which cost me a thousand for the oh for the arm for the arms. Now I'm gonna get. You think you're gonna get the other pieces, but you're only allowed. And then buy. What did I just buy? What am I buying? A flight suit? No, I don't want to buy a flight suit. A Trying to buy the armor. Oh. No, not try it on. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Buy. The arms are 1300. <laughs> Can I get the helmet? Buy the helmet for 2,700. No, one th I've got 1,000 left. And I bet the legs. How much are the legs? 1,000. Oh my god, I can just about afford the suit this time. I think it's because it made me buy a flight suit last time. <laughs> so then I wasted my money on something I didn't need. Even though, yeah. All right. So now, if I press F1, and then go to my person, and go to armor, equip the helmet, torso, no torso, I've got no, it didn't give it to me, give me the arms, legs, Oh dear. Um. <laughs> yeah. Now where's the where's the torso? <laughs> I just spent all my money. <laughs> where's my stuff? Boy, you, you're useless. We just got a few new items in. Yeah, so, um, great. Sure where's my stuff? <laughs> Hang on. Maybe I didn't buy it. Let's check. I've got no money, so no, I must have bought it. Okay, so we've still got some issues with just, like, buying armour. You know? Yeah. Nothing. No armour. So, for this stream, I look like a melon. Look at me with my metal cod piece. Did it actually put the armor on? Look at me. I've got like armored arms, legs, and head, but no chest, which means Thanks. no jetpacks. Whatever, maybe the arms have some rockets. Let's go find out. This is it. That was silly. So my ship is on the other side, I think. Landing pad 10. No, I bet I'm on landing pad 9. Oh, good. Airlocks are working again. So you don't get stuck in the, uh... Right. Do I have a gun? Don't know. Probably not. Um, not seeing my ship. It's 70 meters over there. Up we go. Ah, oh, kill dogs watching. Hello, mate. So yes, we're trying to see if unicorns are real. So 
so far they're a bit laggy. Whoa. Seem a bit like a donkey with an ice cream comb on its head. Oh no. Okay. So F. Or maybe it was just a goat with one horn cut off. Uh, this is Star Citizen. Um, allegedly. Right, we've got to turn the ship on now. Engine on. Flight ready. Hello. How can MISC help you today? Systems on. Okay, everything's looking good. Oh my god. Right. Are you a citizen star? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take off. Wow, taking off isn't glitchy for the first time ever. Okay. Let's just turn her around. Should we go up a bit more? No thrusters. There we go. They took a while to come up on the screen. Okay, so there's my station. So now what? Um, F1. Let's go and check out the planet again. It's always a good thing to do. We want to go to Daymar. Set as destination. There it is. All right, let's go. What is it? G? B. B? There we go, hold B. And we are out of there. Oh my god. And we are at a planet. We're too close. Quantum travel complete. Oh, a little bit of a frame drop there. that. Let's go to that. Oop. Oh my god, we can quantum travel. Alright, so where the hell are we now? Whoa, In whoa. space, that's where you are. I just got read out. What is this? It says on to the internet. Too close. There's nothing here. So are these things below me now? It's quite hard to tell. What's that? On one. Let's go there then. So I'm just sort of going around waypoints to get around the planet, which is quite nice, because before you had to just fly. Yeah, it's extremely alpha, kill dog. <coughs> Look, it's telling me how to lock on missiles, but I don't have Flight missiles. Ah, right, finally, we can see a planet surface. Right. Okay, so let's go... What's that? A shelter? Mining area? Hydroponics, aid shelter. I guess the mining area makes sense. Sounds interesting. Let's go there. Now, is it seriously going to take all that time to get there? I bet it does. Oh, cheers, Caster. Thanks for the host, mate. 
Oh my god. You should pop in if you can. But thanks, dude. So yeah, we're gonna aim for that. It's pretty much just flying in a straight line for a while, guys. But we're flying. And we're just going, we're just basically cruising at our max speed. And in about 500 seconds, we should be at the surface. Unless it's on the other side of the planet, in which case we'll bounce off and explode. Nah, mate, you'll just ping off it like Elite Dangerous. Hmm? Actually, in, in Elite Dangerous, you would be toast, mate. You'd be looking at a respawn screen. Oh, yeah, they got planet landing now. I yeah, forgot. Yeah. Yeah, but it actually works in uh, ED. <laughs> I mean, you can plan... I'm not saying it doesn't work in this. It's just, it's weird, right? It feels like I'm flying towards a big golf ball. And then you do atmospheric, atmospheric re-entry. And it turns into like a flatland, right? And then you're a kilometre up, but it feels like 50 metres. And then suddenly you hit the planet. You know? Well, you'll see. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Well, unless they've changed it, I don't know. This is a new patch, after all. I mean, they said that they'd added new biomes, but... Daymar's a desert planet, so... Maybe it's a different planet. Maybe it's not even a thing. Maybe it's just someone made it up. That's not allowed. Yeah. Well, we'll see, won't we? It didn't say anything about it in the patch notes, so... 400 kilometers to go. When we hit re-entry, I'll go into the external cam. I mean, this is a bit... I think, I think Star Citizen is a bit like Aliens. I want to believe, but there's no proof. If you know oh, what yeah. I mean. It's, I mean, it looks good. And when you play it, you want it to be good. But there's nothing really here yet, except for like flying around in fancy ships. And unless you spend money, no one's really got fancy ships. Everyone's got starter ships. Like I had to upgrade my ship to this one. And it's not really a great ship. I got it because I knew I'm just going to be doing this, flying around. I'm not going to... Oh, re-entry has begun. And it is pretty. Oh, so pretty. But my retros are still where my wings should be in space. They're not actually on my wings still. The particle effects for my uh, maneuvering thrusters are still just like floating out in space next to my ship. All right, so we're now in the planet's atmosphere at 300 kilometers up. So let's just rotate it a little bit. So there we go, we've got a nice approach angle, 300k, whoa, it's hella unstable in this atmosphere, is that my drag, that's what they said they added today was drag in atmosphere. Right. And in fact, we slowed right down to like 200. So they made it even more slow. They have, they've made it much slower. If I boost now. I thought this was like a flying really slow simulator before, but now... It's even slower, mate. You slow down when you hit the atmosphere. You That's know, okay, there, is, there is such speed. a thing as feature creep. Mm. It's like... This is like the uh, food and hunger... The first and hunger bars in G GTA 5M mod. Right. That we tried out. We might have another look at that after this, you know. <laughs> I'd join you, but you know, have to reinstall it. Right. So I'm having trouble staying at 200 in atmosphere, and it's going to take forever to get to the surface at this rate. So what about if I boost? Boosting gets me. No. Nope. Look, the ship's slowing itself down, mate. Look at my speedo. It's Long. saying that my maximum safe speed is now 400, but I'm having trouble even getting up to 200. What's it doing outside the ship? 
it's just waddling. I'm not touching the controls. It's just waddling. It looks like we're going sideways as well, according to the thrust balloons. Well, it looks like we're getting down, so you can see the planet is starting to look more planety. So let's just... Look, I'm still 300 kilometres away, though. What's going on? Am I getting further away? Lol. From the target. Turns out you're flying away from the planet somehow. Oh no, do you know what's happened? What? We're about to hit the ground. Oh. See what I'm saying? The ground just comes up on you just like that. Uh, look, I see the altitude gauge, right? But 200, three, this is 300 meters, right? Yeah. This is 300 meters. Apparently. 300, 300, 100, ground. I'm about to hit the ground again. Why am I hitting the ground again? What? Wait. Can I not take off anymore? It said in the patch notes some ships will have to aim up to get into space because they don't have enough power to just. But look, the ship's flying itself, mate. Why did it just slow down? It's, I've just, I've got zero speed now, and I'm falling. Hmm. And I've hit the ground again. Right, let's go into the hover mode. Can we stay up? I'm not touching the controls. I just want to see what happens. Can I even stay off the ground? It looks like I'm going up now. Did it look right? I'll give it... Uh, it's pretty. It's very pretty. But... Wow. I mean, if I go into my thing... If I damage the ship... I mean, I did crash like three times. It looks like my ship's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> I should be, like, damaged. Okay, so anyway. Go into flight mode. And then press W. I'm at maximum throttle. X and shift for the boost. All right. We're now accelerating. So that was a fail, mate. Oh, no. Because basically we went down to the point and the point was on the opposite side of the planet, I guess. <laughs> It'd be nice if the indicator was hollow or something to show that you were on the wrong side of the planet. So we're now 4,000 meters up and the planet's curving a lot. You can hear the wind. <laughs> the skybox is really pretty. See, that's the thing, right? The ships are pretty. The, the skybox is pretty. Everything's really pretty. But it's just everything else. It's a bit derpy at the moment. Right, so if I come off now, is it going to slow down? No, it's going to keep going. I like that feature. So Lies, you don't like it. Hang on a sec. So there's the mining area. So I need to go right a bit. <laughs> oh God! Why? I blacked out. And then the, the ship was on fire. So, okay. So where the hell do I go? Art Court Mining Area. That's the one Ooh. I want to go to. Ooh. Right, we're going this way. 
Give it some power. So we're now flying it faster and faster through the uh, burnout zone and it's just permanent flames. Yeah, you get blackouts and redouts from turning your ship too fast. I guess, yeah. Don't ask, just, just don't ask. Okay, get it up to a thousand something and then I can stop boosting. I just want to get to one of these landing zones. So that's my mission. No idea what to do. Come on. Is it 1180 is my max? No, 1151, right. So, F. Right, the mar the our mining area is only there, so if I just keep this speed, I should be okay. See, I got this one because it's got two seats, but the other seat's below me right now. And it's got a good field of view, you know? It's got a nice cockpit. You oh, wow, that looks that. pretty cool. You can see the gas giant coming around. Huh. See, there's a lot of potential, but it's a very different game from something like Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous is arcade compared to this. They've actually managed to make a, a space game that's more sim, you know, somehow. And yeah, that Art Corp mining area, it's kind of hard to tell whether it's, like, coming up in front of me or if it's on the other side of the planet. Oh, it looks like we're in space again. Right. So let's slow down, because I don't want to red out again. Nice! It's only 170k that way. Let's go. All right, mate, calm down. My dude's like, breathe, breathe. No. I'm getting panicked. Contact received. Contact received. Does that mean I'm going to get shot down before I get there? All this flying. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Just to suffer. But well, at least it's going to be bright over there by the time I get there. The nights, the, the day-night cycle looks amazing. Like, for si like cinematically, this game's got it right. It looks amazing. <laughs> but um, I just like to see what the gameplay is going to be like. And at the moment, there's a lot of flying. A lot of this. But it is cool being able to ride in other people's ships. Like the few times I've met up with people on here, I've been able to get in some nice ships and like exploring the bigger ships and uh, running gunners and all that. That's a lot of fun. Only thing is everything seems to be made of paper at the moment. Everything just goes boom. Yeah. But then maybe they fixed that because I've crashed into the planet like three times and um, I've got no damage. Which is very different because normally I like graze the planet with my tail and it, and it flies off and I have half a ship <laughs> and then I crash. <laughs> Let's see, are we anywhere near our target? Ah, 70 clicks, we'll be there within a minute. Need some lift music for these sequences, yeah? Da, 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 da. Angles. Free demo on Steam. Buy Buy our now. free game. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is like the best point to like plug in a shameless advert. Shameless plugging. 
ensues. Oh, what? What you selling? What you buying? Oh, it's right below me. Right, slow down. We're going to do the noob approach because I... <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, fa I'm failing right now. But I just don't want to fly past it again. Because the first time I flew into the planet, thinking it was below me when it wasn't. There, 33 kilometers. Okay. Let's go down and meet the planet. I think we can probably get away with 600. Unless it makes me accelerate. Oh no, it's slowing me down. Oh, we need to slow down. We've got 10 kilometers to go. 1,900, 7,000 meters up. Yeah, so the distance is the altitude pretty much. Safe speed. Ah, oh, we've slowed right down again. The new drag feature is super effective. Like, it slows your ship down. We're gonna have to let, we're gonna have to let it slow down. Oh, slow down. Yep, slow down. I can see stuff appearing. Are we actually gonna stop? We're not gonna stop. Did I do it? We are 600 meters up. Wow. Okay, this is weird. Um, is it doing that thing where it falls out the sky again? Don't do that. Landing gear down. Okay. What's that, Tom? You're actually on a planet now, just about. Yeah. Holy crap. And there's a base here and everything. I'm not going to take up the landing pads. I'm not good enough for that. <laughs> yeah, you are. How do we go down? Control. You okay. need to drift your ship, mate. Yeah. Drift chance. Space to with do. Engine off. off. Power off. Now try to figure out how to get out of your ship, there's yeah? A, there's an exit thing in the air now. So you don't have to just click everywhere. That's good. Oh, right. You can actually get out of your ship now, Dom. Mate, I remember being stuck in my ship like, How the hell did I get out of it? And when I finally got out of it, it was so buggy. Wow, so we're actually crash. on the planet now. Oh, okay, we're on the planet, everyone. We made it. Lies and slander. We made it. <laughs> Close the door. Look, they fixed that too. Okay, so what have we got here then? Have I got a gun? No, we've got no guns. Again. There's a building over there. There's a building over there. I'm going to run to this building over here. Maybe there's someone inside. Maybe there's an alien and I have to learn a language. <laughs> In your dreams. It's going to be abandoned. <laughs> or will you have the airlock sequence? Oh. Ah! Fail. I feel like that robot chicken with Captain Kirk. <laughs> where he keeps coming in the door and they keep shutting it on him. He's like, ah! Oh! Okay, so... We have a Mr. Coffee. Which is non-functional. 
you have a toy spaceship but I'm too old for things like that and we have a ship retrieval console that was just all space balls and Star Wars references by the way guys I So that was, uh, it was a ship retrieval console. Okay, so that's what that is. It actually is a thing. There was a, there was actually some functionality in there, Dom. Wow. Yeah. And look at that, that there. That is beautiful. It's very cinematic. Very cinematic. Okay, so what's this building all about? I'm just finding out what the buildings are about right now. Oh wow, it's like a dune type mining thing. You know what I find funny? What? Let's put all this detail into the models. You don't notice half of it. Yeah, it's true, you have to look at it. But... Oh, we made it into that airlock. It didn't just close in my face. Nice, particle effects. Okay, so what's this? Power cell accepted and active. So, okay. I guess player stations, you need to put one of them in that. Oh, there's another door. Okay, what's all this? And there's another door. So this looks outside. This has stuff you can't use, like tools and whatnot. There's a load of storage in here. <sighs> Can't use any of this stuff though. There's more sections. Oh, what happened? Oh no, we're still good. So what's this? Some kind of power reactor. Can't do nothing with it. Very pretty though. Next, another one. Just the same. Can't use it though. Reminds me of the Warframe dojos. You must build mm -hmm. another power core for this building to work. And what does the building do? Um, nothing. It just unlocks something else. Unlocks another building. All right. What does that building that's unlocked do? Allows you nothing. to spend more money. That thing lets you add this building next to it. Yeah, and, and you that need building those allows two you buildings. to add this building next to it. So you want to build a landing pad. You're going to need... All a, two power things and um, a landing control communications building. Uh, but wait, and... you're gonna need to build a research building because you don't know how to build it yet. Yeah, <laughs> and each one needs a power cell. Oh, hello, what's this? Flight suits. Can't have it though. Lockers, lockers when? And wait, Tom, and wait. Each builder requires 200 nitate to build. Like, it's really pretty. I just hope it has functionality. Can I sleep in the bed? No. Can I use the computer? No. Can I? No. Can I, no. no. Can I no. go no. into no. this no. toilet? No. 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 Oh. Can I wash my hands? No. Of all the sins, what's this? No. Damn it. No, 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 no. Okay, no. so. So this was like a crew quarters type building. You need a crew. Yeah, they've added building. all this detail to it, but what? I know. What's the gameplay? There is no gameplay. Well, play. there is. There show. is. There's one building here where I can pick up crates, put them in my ship, and take them somewhere and get paid. I know that's, that's well in the game. Good. So we've checked out what those two, three buildings do. So there's one more building which we've got to check out. You just gained three more f f uh, viewers, Tom, which means I just triggered them. Oh no! Probably going to type furiously like, Arr, these buildings all have use. Well, maybe they plan. do. Enlighten us. If anybody knows what. Oh, they all disappeared. Are for. Oh, what, did you scare off my audience again? Yeah, I, I scared off all the people that were about to rage at you. <laughs> me. I don't think anyone was going to do that. T to be honest, this is this game, the feel I get from this game is everyone wants to believe. 
<laughs> like I say, it's like aliens in the X-Files. We all want to believe and we all want to see evidence that it's worth your time. But so far, they haven't really shown anything. Like the stuff that looked interesting isn't even this game. It's Squadron 42. And that's this completely yeah. separate game that isn't multiplayer. And you're like, uh... uh underwear uh, uh, thing. Need something? Hello, I found a person. Go ahead and set it down. Make a delivery. No way. Go ahead and set her down, he says. So what, I have to land my ship in the right place or something? I probably have to actually So this land. guy lives in this outpost, does he? I guess so. On and just own. stands there blankly. There we go. Reliant core, yeah? I have no cargo. Look at the reflection. I can't read that. Hang on. Ah. The animation work has some, right. needs something. Right. Bye. I want to Okay. Buy. Yep, you're right, Tom. That reflection, mate. That's like... <laughs> yeah, they've gone for so much Why? detail that it, it, it's... It's it's detail. It's it's form For, over functionality, it is. mate. Like yeah. that Star Citizen in us in one screenshot. There it is. Yeah. Nice trading console, bro. You might want to turn yeah. the reflection down now. Like, have they ever heard of matte screens? Right. Like laptops don't even reflect. This like is that. the future. I Why like are they the using old tech from the early two thousand? I like the smeariness effect on it though. It is a cool look that is a really cool texture but the reflection is like 1.0 <laughs> yeah all right so wait how do i actually okay so what can i what can i do here can i pick it by wait what Amount to purchase zero. Huh. I obviously don't have any. Look, it says I've got four space. To be honest, Tom, you should put a highlight of this stream, of just this bit, and say Star Citizen in a nutshell for the title. Right. Form over functionality. I can't read it, mate. It's too bright. Can you turn the lights off, mate? It's too bright. <laughs> um, right, hang on. I'm going to try landing the ship on the pad. I'll give it benefit of the doubt. Yeah, maybe I've got to land it on the pad for it to work. I don't think I did, but maybe I do. Let's find out. Right, well, eyes heading off anyway. He's going to bed. Alright mate. Noise going to the beds and it's your night shift now anyway. Night crew! Night crew! Yeah, I'll be getting some food after this stream, but then I'll be coming back with some mm. more stuff. Right, well, nighty night Tom and nighty night viewers. Mm, see you tomorrow, Dom. See ya! And with that, the handover is complete. How do I... How do, come on guys, you can let me back in my ship. There we go. Just have to get a little bit closer. We have to kiss it. Oh god. Eh. Very cool though. Very cool. So close the door. Flight ready. Now, which one was it? It was, it was the one over here, I think. So if I just... Uh, now, how do we auto-dock? How do we do auto-dock? N? N? Oh, comms menu. Comms menu, comms menu, com link. Hail blank. No, nothing. <laughs> Requ 
equipment. Mm, no. Mm, no. Mm, no. No. Huh. Too close. What? Use the comms menu. Comms. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't work. Can't even get out of it. Um. All right, well, let's just land there and see what happens. Cause... Whoa, we might want to, like, not be in landing gear. I mean, not be in speed mode. Right, so down we go. And then let's get out of the ship. And I'll leave it on. I like how the lights are actually on though. I might leave it on more. Too dark in the back. Really? Come on. Right. Hmm. No, it's not that building. That's a rock. So it's this one. And if this doesn't work, well... See, sometimes those doors are automatic and sometimes you have to push the button. It's a bit strange. Alright, Chuck. Not close enough. Something I can help you with. I don't know. Uh, make a pickup. Maybe that's. I can't help you. What? You can't help me. You. Oh, you kidding me? Need something? Oh well, that's someone cool. else is here now. So let's have another look at this crazy reflective menu. Oh. I can see it now. I just have to be closer to it. Dear, oh dear. Right, so bye. Tungsten. Oh, I've got no money. Stupid. Oh, well, let's see who's coming in. I wonder if my arm has reappeared while we've been messing about. No. Oh, I just look like an idiot. I think someone's coming in. Hi. So he's doing it. Star Citizen. Well, what to say? What to say? I mean, yeah, it seems to be more stable and it does seem like a lot of the little niggly bugs are gone. Um, but I still can't. Oh, let's stick with this guy. Don't. There we go. Let's see what he's doing. You never know, he might have a cool ship out there. Oh, nice. What the hell is this? Cutlass? 
or a buccaneer. I don't know. Whatever it is, it looks cool. It's a multi crew ship. Never find the panels on these things. I think he probably wants me to move my ship. It is a lot easier to get in and out of sh ships now as well, so that's appreciated. It's all a little bit buggy. Still a bit weird when you actually hit the bottom of the ramp there, but that's nothing. Oh dear. There we go. <coughs> well, looks like the other guy didn't need the pad, uh, by the looks of it. I think he's just gone. Yeah, long gone. Well, there it is, guys. The latest patch. It's actually not bad. Um, you definitely need an SSD, but if you've heard of this game, you probably already knew that. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the stream, because I haven't got anything else to show you. Um, yep, managed to land. It was a bit event, bit bumpy, but we got there in the end. I'm going to disappear now and get some food. I'll be back in about half hour. See ya.